So we are in uh, Via Dottore Gaetano Cataldi. It's interesting, actually. I couldn't even find it on Google Maps this morning, but anyway. And uh, the property in question is this corner property that I've just visited with uh, Stefano from Compo Casa. And it's interesting, really, because it looks like one of those properties where the time has physically stopped, but also embedded into a beautiful context of a history just right there on the corner, the very well known and infamous, the Devil Palace. And some fantastic freskies that are scattered around. <clears throat> so we are really in one of the wealthiest areas of the past of Parabita. So the property is downstairs and upstairs. I'm going to start exploring the downstairs. I'm going to turn the camera around. So let's do it. So property in question, this one on the corner. This beautiful part of the Centro Storico, very well kept, very gentrified, as you can see. And I really love this sort of patina over over these walls, this green and red. So it's the whole corner here is not very deep as a building. It's got this very special balcony. The two doors coming through. That one on the front. Stefano Grazie. And Stefano from Compro Casa. And this area downstairs. So the first room downstairs, although they could be all three connected, is this barrel ceiling room. There is a, a door between the two spaces which has been closed. And some kind of system here apparently this floor has been raised and uh, creating a system and as we're stepping out of that we will go through entriamo da da questa principale no so we'll come through here these are the stairs going up but We really want to explore the two rooms that you see from the street, so we came through there. So we have this room here, which is a star-shaped ceiling room. Probably used as a workshop or as a car repair shop. And then, I love the shape of that. I mean, these buildings have gone through some major changes, but you could tell really important from the architectural features. And then this little barrel ceiling, and that's been closed, is connected to the room next door. So this, this entire space could really be opened up and creating a very big open plan space on the ground floor. This is the other room. It's interesting, I've got three different types of styles of construction. So this is very gothic. This is a star shape and next door we had a barrel ceiling. And then the little space here, which is really the area underneath the stairs taking us upstairs. That's interesting, there's probably a little window or a little fresco niche. And we'll go upstairs. So let me just pop out again, one second. So again, that's the one at the back there. This one here, so all these three could come together. And then from here, we're going straight up. So imagine opening this door. I mean, it's, it's beautiful already. The width of the stairs, pretty interesting, quite wide. Uh, steps are <laughs> steep, I would say, but uh, obviously over the years they've actually put a layer on top, so they've become a little higher, but really traditional Pietro Lecceso stone all the way up. Not a lot of stairs to get to the apartment. The last two are very, very high, but very short stairs. 
probably about 12 steps to get us into the apartment. Wow. So you can imagine the apartment is the exact footprint of downstairs. So we have a star shaped ceiling here with the access to the balcony. That's taken us upstairs, so we'll check that out in a second. And this is the other room. It's beautiful, another star shaped ceiling with the access to the balcony. Beautiful little tiny room with this very large fireplace and this room. Obviously, having the downstairs, having the downstairs makes it easier in terms of positioning bathrooms and everything because we can go straight down into the ground floor and out. So, to come through there, we have first room, second room little room at the back there and a little space over there and from here we're gonna tackle this space and going straight up onto the roof terrace nice I like the windows bringing a lot of light being in the corner so let's go up it's interesting actually this is where they put the toilet they carved the wall as well to put the toilet there. I think uh, the toilet needs to be repositioned somewhere else, but uh, perhaps right at the other end of the property. But they believe in gravity. <laughs> so straight up these stairs, you can tell they're very old. And we're now coming out onto a roof terrace, which the floor is like a culture pestle. Amazing, small and contained roof terrace. From here, the view of the Palazzo. But also quite interesting, it's got a couple of little rooms here. Wow, I was just thinking how these properties were built. So from here, we've got some steps coming down. And we have a proper room with barrel ceilings. Isn't this magic? Oh, they had animals up here, so some little troughs. But it's quite nice from the point of view of potentially creating something up on the roof and having an area where you can have a bathroom or a toilet, a little kitchen, just for entertaining and utilizing the roof terrace. So I think a very, very big plus. And then an additional piece of roof terrace just up here. You can I would say this is actually quite uh, extraordinary from the point of view that time has definitely stopped. Uh, it's got some amazing features and patinas that can be <clears throat> brought back to life. Uh, yes, without a doubt, it requires a, a refurbishment. Uh, but I think uh, between the upstairs and the downstairs combined, uh, the two units could create really a fantastic uh, environment uh, to to spend time here in Salento. also the location literally you come out and you're right in the main most beautiful part of the centro storico of uh, parabita so fantastic find here in parabita and also the vicinity to the sea and the coastline makes parabita a very good spot